So what do you, what do you, what do you say to Jack Smith? I mean, uh, and, and again, I guess you have to be careful what you say. He still is the, the special uh, investigator, the special prosecutor. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of long ago. You know, yours and, and others' future. Careful, Rudy. You don't want to end up like your buddy Donnie. So here's what I say to Jack Smith. After the Supreme Court threw out your case, which is, should, should, should have been a disgrace and you should have gone and found another profession because you don't belong in this one, this one will be your legacy, violating the right of free speech of an American citizen, never mind whether he was president or not. It could be anybody. It could be a homeless person. You don't get to violate people's First Amendment rights, Smith, no matter who the hell you are or no matter how sick you are with Trump derangement syndrome. And this isn't the first time you've acted like an unethical lawyer. It should be the last. Oh boy, Rudy Giuliani is giving ethics advice to Jack Smith. This is the same Rudy Giuliani whose license to practice law has been suspended. He's been caught on tape sexually harassing an employee. He was the guy who represented Purdue Pharma, the OxyContin family uh, back in the day that helped with the OxyContin uh, epidemic in America. He's the guy who tried to help overthrow the election in 2020, and he's giving ethics advice to Jack Smith. But he's been crooked all along. Here he is telling us uh, what else he's done. A little dirty a trick, dirty trick in New York. Dirty I'm, dirty you're a dirty trick in New York. I'm no, so shocked. Played by Republicans. Shocked. By Republicans. Republicans don't know dirty tricks. How about this one? Okay, give it. So to they me. they went through East Harlem, over- which is all Hispanic, and they gave out they gave out they gave out little cards, and the card said, "If you come to vote." Make sure you have your green card because INS are picking up illegals. Oh, my gosh. Yep, that's good old Rudy showing off to Steve Bannon and Kerry Lake about how he used to stop Hispanics from voting in New York by telling them the INS was going to be there to take them in. Yeah, good old Rudy up to his old tricks. But he's got loose lips and loose lips sink ships. Watch this clip. On that, sir. Having, having, having something to do with paying some Stormy Daniels woman, 130000 I mean, which is going to turn out to be perfectly legal. That money was not campaign money. Sorry, I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know. It's not campaign money. No campaign finance violation. So, so they, they funneled it through the law firm. Funneled through the law firm, and the president repaid it. Oh, I didn't know he did. Yep. There's no campaign finance law. Zero. There you have it, folks. In 2018, Rudy Giuliani on Fox admitting that Trump paid hush money to Stormy Daniels in the election. So Rudy Giuliani has never been as smooth or as big of a hero as we thought for a minute that he was. After September 11th, he was known as America's mayor because he was in New York and he showed up and he was helping out. But any mayor in New York would have done that. That's the whole point of being the mayor of New York. Those guys tend to be, guys and gals, tend to be big personalities and they show up when tragedy hits. And so we all gave Rudy the benefit of the doubt and we thought that he was going to be a hero and yet we've seen him just fall from grace. If you want, you can watch uh, the second Borat movie where Rudy has a reporter uh, in a bedroom and he basically is trying to imply that he wants her to do sexual acts with him. Um, we saw him uh, during the uh, the attempt to steal the election where he held a press conference at the Four Seasons. It was supposed to be the Four Seasons Hotel. It ended up being the Four Seasons uh, landscaping next to a porno store. Uh, we've seen him give uh, talks as well during the whole attempt to steal the election where his hair dye was just coming down his cheek. This is a disaster. This is sad, but he's a bad person and he's getting what he deserves. He's one of the co-conspirators of the indictment that came up against Trump. Rudy Giuliani was clearly part of it. There's stories that talk about how Rudy Giuliani was drunk the night of the election and he was one of the guys who encouraged Donald Trump to just go in front of the world and in front of the country and say, we won this election. It actually was not written in the speech for him to say that, but he was encouraged to do it by people like Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, John Eastman, Jeffrey Clark. All these people who are co-conspirators are all a bunch of nut jobs. And just because the guy was a mayor does not mean 
that he is someone that has ethics or is someone who's got morals. Matter of fact, it's the exact opposite. And now they're trying to spin this whole indictment and say that uh, Jack Smith is is infringing upon their rights, their freedom of speech. Freedom of speech does not include fraud and trying to overthrow democracy. You cannot lie in an effort to defraud somebody. So one of the protections and one of the defenses that Trump's team is trying to say is they're saying it's okay to lie. It's freedom of speech to lie. I can call somebody and lie and say, hey, so-and-so, um, my name is something else. But I can't call them and say, my name is something else. Here's my bank account. Send me the money and lie to that person and defraud that person out of money. Trump and his co-conspirators tried to uh, fraud and defraud us out of a fair election. And Rudy Giuliani is front and center on that. He's got coming to him what he deserves. Currently, Jack Smith is going after Donald Trump, but hopefully... Once that case is done, he'll go after Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani has already been suspended. His license to practice law has been suspended. He's falling further and further down. He's just right there with the pillow guy. He and the pillow guy are pretty much the same person now. So it's sad in one way, but it's predictable in another. He's always been a bad human being, and we're seeing more and more the bad human being that he is. If you want, Google the... Uh, the, the transcript that came out of his sexual harassment against his employee, you'll see he's just a bad, bad person. Um, so, Rudy, buckle up, buddy. They're coming after you. As angry as you try to sound on Newsmax or whatever that far-right uh, network is, they're coming after you. By the way, folks, real quickly, that's a picture of me that someone painted and sent to me, and I've ironically put it up there. But under the comments, some people have commented and said, oh, this guy's ego. I'm trying to be ironic. Have a sense of humor. My name is Maz Jobrani, and uh, I'm a comedian. I have a special on YouTube called The Birds and the Bees. Check it out, and um, bye-bye, Rudy.